Hello everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Now I'm scrapping this 5x7 photo of a tree in my yard and I'm using my Scraptastic kit for November, the Feels Like Home kit plus the counterfeit add-on I put together to go along with it. Now this is my first layout for this kit, which unfortunately means I spend quite a bit of time going through all the papers trying to figure out which one I'm going to use. And also, I spend quite a bit of time going through all the embellishments trying to figure out what I'm going to use as I'm not super familiar with it yet. So I apologize, this video is going to be a little choppy because I end up trying to cut out some of my just meandering through the kit. I do end up grabbing this orangey coral piece of cardstock and I'm going to use that along with this piece of floral pattern paper that is a Scraptastic exclusive designed by Caitlin Schaefer. And I like the colors and I like how light it feels. Even though this is an autumn layout, what I'm focusing on is how colorful it is, the photo. So I just wanted to have lightness in the back, if that makes any sense. Now I'm using some Distress Ink in Dried Marigold, I believe that's what it's called, and I'm going to uh, outline my pattern papers. I'm not using a huge amount of pattern papers in this layout, but the ones I'm using, I just wanted to bring that orange in. Oh, and here comes Anthony, she's saying hello, and then she's going to try to eat my ATG tape, so I'm gonna get rid of her in just a second. So because I'm using a 5x7, I keep my embellishments on the light side because the photo does take up so much of my layout. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is back my photo with the same cardstock I used as my border. And I decide I want to use a bit of this... Oh, sugar, this is, oh, Jen Hatfield. Jen Hadfield, I think it's Hadfield. Jen Hadfield DIY. And what I'm trying to do is leave the border because it's got this fabulous multicolor diagonal stripe on the other side. And I really wanted to be able to use that to border a layout later on. So I went ahead and, uh, I'm sorry, I went ahead and, and cut that out from the center, and then I removed a section of those words that I didn't necessarily think I was going to use, like that I was in love with. Like, I definitely wasn't going to use the block that included that ampersand, because I knew I might want to use that ampersand in a layout. So I'm just cutting out that piece of diagonal stripe, and I just, oh, I love that paper. I love that paper so much, it's not even funny. So I go ahead and cut my border out, and of course I mess it up. I cut too close, so I have to readjust my photo because, you know, who doesn't do that all the time? So <laughs> we cut away and it's magically on the paper. Sorry about that. So I'm trying to decide which flare I want to use and also if I'm going to use these wood veneer. Now that home flare came with the kit. The one with the leaf on it did not come with the kit. I just happened to find it and I'm not going to end up using it, although I, I desperately want to. I try very hard to use it. But oh, I do use these wonderful vellum leaves. They are so pretty and so delicate and they're just perfect considering I'm doing a layout about a tree in my yard. So I go ahead and get my photo on the, with the striped paper and then I'm just going to lay some glue down on the back and attach the leaves in that direct in that way just to kind of get them attached to the back of my photo where I want them. Now I'm going to I want to see I want to put them down in the lower right hand corner kind of where that where my photo meets the paper and I'm going to try to lay those down. But before I do that, I need to see if you can read the part of my title that's going to sit there as well. So I start to get the word autumn out of this thicker set that came with the kit called patchwork. Now I think I have these, these are older thickers. So I think I have a pack of these, but I was not able to find them. So I don't know if they're, you know, hiding or something like that. Cause you know, everyone has, Oh look, I found stuff I haven't seen in six months, little area. Cause I cleaned up and put it away someplace safe. Oi. So I just get those out to see if I can see what it looks like with the title over it. 
and I actually really like it. I think it's very readable, but you can still see the vellum pieces as well. So I go ahead and lay down some tape to gather those with, oh, they're so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just like, they're, they're just so delicate, but just so gorgeous. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and then I go and grab these Dear Lizzie Thickers because the word I'm using is colorful. Now, because I wanted the words to be colorful along with the, you know, just to, to emphasize the word, that I didn't think using the wood grain lettering was going to work, nor did I think using the gray Else Studio stickers would work as well because when you see gray you don't necessarily think colorful. Now those are from my add-on kit. The dark gray stickers came with the add-on kit from Scraptastic. I didn't have the dark gray so I just grabbed the light gray. So I saved you guys the fact of me gluing all of those down because they are cardboard or card uh, chipboard thickers so of course you had to glue those down. And unfortunately, I glued them down slightly at an angle. Not a huge, huge issue, but I was kind of, like, annoyed with myself. I was, I was trying to rush, and I shouldn't have done that. And so my entire title is going to be A Wonderfully Colorful Autumn at Home. And then I'm using that home flair as the word home. Now, I desperately like that, so I'm happy, happy with that. So then I grab this fall exclusive die cut from the kit, and I put that up in the upper left-hand corner along with those leaves, and I really like that, so I'm going to go ahead and get that down. And then I'm going to try to add a little bit of glue, because it's just a little too... Even though it's glued down to the photo, it's very loosey-goosey. And I managed to catch the vellum, so it's curling up, so I fixed that as well. So I'm just using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive that I have in this fine line bottle to help glue a little bit more of that fall die cut down. Now I really, really, really want to use those acorn wood veneer, but they're just slightly too big for the scale needed for this layout so I don't end up using them even though I try very hard. Now that home flare was disappearing a little because my background paper is white so I grabbed a sticker from the Simple Stories I Am collection and I just did that to provide a dark piece for my flare. That's something I added to my add-on kit and I was very happy with it. So now I've got my craft market chipboard stickers that I added to my add-on kit and I'm trying to use the arrows. I love arrows. <laughs> I you know I keep saying that but I'm like I love that and I love that. I this is one I have to say I've been this is my third month subscribing to the Scraptastic kit and I'm pretty sure this is my favorite kit yet. And I've really liked my other two kits so I'm just very happy. Now I'm going through the Jen Hadfield uh, embellishment, no, not embellishment, ephemera pack that came with the kit, and I pull out those little arrows, and then also the fox head, and I know necessarily, I know necessarily, I know that a fox does not necessarily have anything to do with my layout, but I'm of the mind that, you know, it's outdoors, foxes live outdoors, it works. So I grab those two pieces, and I really, I, I think that fox is just super cute. So I get that all down, and at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Oh, I am going to grab these pink paisley Cedar Lane puffy stickers and add three little hearts in my three embellishment areas. And then, oh yes, I grab one of the labels from the Cut Apart exclusive labels from the kit. And that's where I'm going to do just a little bit of journaling just talking about how this year's fall in here in Connecticut was just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and I grab these My Mind's Eye Hello World enamel dots that I added to my add-on kit. Sorry, I lost track of my what I was saying as I was saying it. I apologize for that. All right, so, and here's where I try to make that flare work. I try up in the corner, down in the corner. You know, I don't want to put it with the other flare, of course. So 
<laughs> and this is where I forget, Rachel, you have not written your journaling yet, so you should not do what you're going to do next, which is grab your Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold and mist it all over your layout. <laughs> So I go ahead and add a little mist to my three embellishment areas. And then I realize, oh wait, you never wrote your journaling. <laughs> so I take my layout and I put it off to the side so I can write my journaling because obviously I can't try to attach it when the mist is wet. So all I'm saying about this is, like I said, about how beautiful the foliage was this year, and I happened to glance out my window, and I saw the tree outside, and it was just, I, I literally gasped, grabbed my phone, and ran outside to take a photo. So that is going to be my layout. Here are some close-ups. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Have a great day, and flick me a thumbs up if you can. Bye! Bye!